Here we are getting started with day 11 of the Complete Kitchen Remodel Project. Uh, so here I'm starting off again with uh, some drywalling work, my least favorite thing to do. And it's one of those jobs that you sometimes just have to keep going over and doing another pass until you have a, a nice even surface and a nice smooth surface between existing sheetrock and new sheetrock. So um, here I'm just going through and putting some more mud up. Uh, this area we definitely had to build up a bit uh, because the inner door trim and the existing sheet rock on the outside uh, did not match up exactly and uh, it would have been a real pain uh, putting the door trim on there if we didn't uh, build this up a little. So I had to do a couple passes around this uh, around this passageway. Uh, here you see I've got my, uh, my vacuum attachment uh, for drywall sander. I love this this attachment. Um, it sucks up probably about 75-80% of the drywall dust uh, right into the vacuum as you're sanding. Uh, so it really keeps the mess down. And especially in a situation like this where uh, it was open to the rest of the house at this point, um, the vacuum attachments uh, is a great addition. So I highly recommend it. They're not that expensive. They're about 20-25 uh, bucks or so. So uh, I've got some finished up with some drywall sanding here. Uh, here I'm just going through and adding a little more mud on the outside surface here, uh, just to do a final buildup. So I'll be able to go in and trim it later. And now just uh, cleaning up uh, any random, random drywall dust. So here Neil is coming out and. Uh, taking some measurements now for the countertops. We've got all the uh, base cabinets in position now. Uh, we've got them all set to be anchored down and uh, solidified into the ground and Neil is going outside to uh, make some cuts to the plywood boards that we got the day before and so we can attach plywood boards on the top. So here I'm going around with these uh, these vice grips and I'm just uh, screwing each of the base cabinets together uh, so they'll all, be, they'll all be locked in position with each other. And just doing some final checks too to make sure everything's level. Uh, here I've got some uh, liquid nails so I'm applying some construction adhesive in between the uh, the 4x6 anchor blocks and the cabinets and uh, unfortunately there was not enough space to get down there with the uh, caulking gun so I had to uh, put on some some latex gloves and just sort of finger paint the construction adhesive in there and it ended up working okay. So here I'm just uh, applying some some uh, shims under this uh, corner cabinet where the wine fridge is going to be, just trying to make sure that everything is all level over here. We're just doing final preparations before we start laying down the uh, the underlayment for the countertop. So the countertop we're putting in, um, I got these 12-inch granite tiles uh, through. Uh, Home Depot, uh, the company that makes them is called uh, MSI uh, or MSI International. Uh, they have a large warehouse here in the Los Angeles area, and I think they provide uh, granite tile for a lot of different companies that use different brand names for them. So here you see we've brought in uh, these plywood boards, uh, three quarter inch plywood boards. So this is the bottom layer of the countertop. Uh, so there will be plywood boards and then on top of the plywood is a layer of mortar and on top of that is the 12 inch granite tiles. And uh, we figured out uh, there, that the total height of this plywood board, the mortar and the granite tiles is an exact uh, 2 inches basically, um, which is the height of the edge rail pieces that I got too. So. Um, matching the 12 inch granite tiles I got I was able to get uh, some edge rail pieces that match in the same color uh, we chose uh, blue pearl 
So here you see Neil going around and screwing these uh, the plywood boards down into the cabinets here. And this is all just fully solidifying all these cabinets into place. And now we're bringing in a couple of pieces just to mock up some of these sections. Uh, this section here where it drops down on the edge actually ended up being um, an area that we had to go over and discuss a couple times to figure out exactly what we wanted to do with it. Um, here we've moved on where uh, we are looking at trimming out these two pieces around the oven. So I got a bunch of this extra material uh, from Ikea that matches the cabinets uh, for doing this type of trim work because I knew I was going to have several areas where I needed to uh, do some fills. So here I'm just, uh, I took some measurements here and I think here in a second we're going to bring the trim board out and uh, make some cuts on that. So that was the big trim board. And now we're returning with some pieces here. And there's the first piece. So we're just getting uh, both of them together first and then I'll uh, install them. Uh, here I decided to just vacuum out the uh, the vents even though we had them covered up. The uh, tape came off at one point and uh, I wanted to make sure that any debris that got in the vent system was sucked out. Plus uh, we hadn't had uh, the air conditioner on this entire time and it was starting to get really hot so we wanted to turn that back on. So here we're discussing this uh, drop down area and uh, the challenge here was just figuring out exactly how we wanted to round the corner and deal with the edge trim and uh, how the grout lines would line up from uh, the, the top surface uh, to this lower section. So and you see over near the oven now, um, I've put these two trim pieces in. I just uh, used construction adhesive um, and, and put them in place and they're all snugly in there and they will not be moving out of there. So here we've, uh, we're making some decisions just on uh, how to frame this area out. Um, we need to uh, support the edge of this overhang bar. There's a 9 inch overhang here so we're going to uh, build in some pieces to support that and then also just figuring out uh, where we need finished edges uh, using this material uh, versus where there's going to be uh, granite countertop tiles or edge tiles around this area. So at this point too, I'm um, I'm wanting to put together some of the the cabinet uh, shelves and some of the doors just to make sure as we progress uh, we keep plenty of clearance so that all the doors will always be able to open and there there, there won't be any close calls with the uh, the countertop that's above them. So here we're looking into the uh, sink cutout area. Neil has uh, has drawn out the area here and you can see Neil's cutting with the jigsaw here as I vacuum underneath. And now we have the sink cutout area and just making some more final cuts for that so we can fit the sink in this area. So the sink will actually rest in a bed of mortar uh, which will be the next step the next stage on top of this plywood. So we're just getting everything roughed in at this point. So the next step is to make a cutout for the stove top. Uh, Neil's taking some measurements over there and making some marks. And here we move the camera over there and the jigsaw and cutting out the area for the stove top. So we make a little adjustment here and there we go. So now that we've got the sink and the stove top roughed in and now we're just uh, doing some more deliberations on this little drop down area. Uh, Neil's a perfectionist so he wants to make sure that uh, there won't be a larger grout line, you know, it won't be uh, an eighth of an inch in one area and only a sixteenth of an inch in another so uh, we went over this a couple times and came up with the, the best possible plan for dealing with that area. And 
here I'm just checking with the uh, laser level making sure we're all good so here I'm just attaching some more doors and shelves on the front side too so we can make sure that uh, we have plenty of clearance uh, once we build up, build up the countertop and put the edge rails onto. So at this point here, it's starting to get uh, later on into the evening, and we're just starting to clean stuff up and uh, get prepared. So we'll have a nice clean surface to work from for the next day and I think here uh, actually I at the end of the night here I, I decided to go ahead and uh, put together some more of these IKEA cabinets uh, these cabinets are all the IKEA section line of cabinets uh, it's their new line of cabinetry uh, that they launched uh, early in 2015 uh, specifically we went with the Ma line the MA line of uh, sliding shelves and doors. Uh, it's really nice uh, hardware that they use for all the sliding systems and the dampers in the cabinets. Um, the instructions can be a little bit confusing the first time you put the stuff together. Uh, you have to have a really good attention to detail. Uh, there's basically no text directions, uh, which I wish for such a multinational corporation. It would be nice if they could uh, they could go ahead and hire a couple translators and put some additional text in there uh, but you just have to really watch uh, every little detail and every little picture uh, because they're basically all important and there's lots of branching out in the instructions for different positions of different shelves in different cabinets um, and it's very easy to miss one little thing and then have to go back and change a lot of work so uh, one of the things I missed in putting together these sliding shelves is that the bottom shelf has to be uh, mounted slightly lower than the top two shelves uh, as far as the door front on the sliding shelf so I was a little frustrated with these um, spent a little extra time here but I eventually figured it out right about now and uh, went and grabbed another one of them that I had uh, instead of trying to figure out how to pop the front off the uh, shelf and uh, put this one together and now at this point I've got it all set and I just have to adjust the hinges to the correct positions so um, after I figured it out all the rest of the cabinets went together uh, really quick all these sliding shelves and and as I said they are really uh, high quality hardware uh, you know they feel like they'll last a long time and the damper systems nice um, you know they smoothly close and open uh, and yeah I just feel really sturdy so yeah, we're overall happy with the, the IKEA section system, uh, but just be prepared to be a little frustrated uh, the, first, the first round that you put together. So here, I'm um, just putting together this inner shelf that goes uh, in the other ones. So yeah, that's it for uh, this day, and uh, continue on to the next video to see us continue on with the countertop and the rest of the cabinets.